With spring officially here, that means that severe weather season is right around the corner, and MSU Denver is hosting a weather spotter training class this weekend to help you prepare. The event is this Sunday, April 12th at 3 o'clock in the Science Room 2005 and is free and open to the public. The class lasts about an hour and a half and is taught by a representative from the National Weather Service office in Boulder. Students will learn the basics of storm development and structure, as well as criteria to report to the office. The weather conditions on the Auraria campus are now just a click away. The weather sensing station between the community, of college, the community College of Denver's Confluence Building and the 9th Street Historic Park were recently fixed after years of not being in service. Before the repairs, weather reported on MSU Denver's WCS radio came from Denver International Airport. Now students can check out conditions on campus and on the WCS radio page or by going to msudenver.edu slash weather now. So those are some great opportunities though for some of the meteorology students here at Denver. You could check out the current conditions and also that weather observation class. I'm not a meteorologist student, but that looks like a lot of fun. I'm not either, but I think that'll be really good because I really like to know what the weather is so I don't go out in shorts when it's snowing. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Yeah, That's that would not good. be good. Now joining us for weather is Douglas Coulter. Yeah guys, that's an awesome new investment by the school and I, I really like it a lot myself. Right now we're sitting at 59 degrees here on the Auraria campus on April the 10th. We're sitting under mostly sunny skies. We have winds coming out of the northeast at 5 miles per hour and our high today is expected to be at 65 degrees. But where should we be for this time of year? Well, usually for April our our average high is 60 degrees and our average low is 32 degrees. So we are going to be a little bit above average today and for the precipitation we usually get about 1.7 inches of rain in this year. Taking a look at the hour by hour, guys if you're headed out to the Rockies game, awesome day to do that. 62 degrees for the first pitch, 63 by 3 o'clock and by the time the game is ending it will be around 64 degrees. And if you're heading out for any plans tonight, it should be nice at 63 degrees. Now, taking a look at tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be an awesome day as well. Again, way above average. 75 degrees is what we're going to see for tomorrow. And we, do, we will see mostly clear skies tomorrow with maybe a few clouds in the afternoon with our low down at 46. Now, coming up later, guys, I'll have your full forecast, including how long this warm weather lasts. But back to you guys. 75 degrees. That is awesome. I'm so excited for tomorrow's weather. Oh yeah, I'm going to the Rockies game tomorrow. I know it's looking a little gloomy early in the week, but I'm glad it's going to be great weather for that. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to be outside tomorrow for sure. Yeah, it's going to be a great day. Coming up after the break. We take a look in the developments in the Boston Marathon bombing case. <laughs> as you mentioned earlier, is just around the corner. But let's talk about it right now. So Saturday for tomorrow, if you have any plans going up to the mountains, maybe doing some hiking in Boulder, we're gonna see a high of 72 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Off in Grand Junction, we're gonna see 78 degrees with a low of 40. And back here in Denver, we're gonna see that high of 75 degrees and 72 at DIA. Much of the same for Sunday. Sunday is also going to be very nice. Again, up in the mountains, Boulder, 71 degrees, Grand Junction, 74. Over down in Gunnison, we're going to be seeing 61 degrees. And if you're down in Colorado Springs, we're going to see a high of 72 degrees. Now, your national map for tomorrow, that's where we have, where, that's where we see that severe weather. Now, it stays away from Colorado, but you will notice right here to our east down in Kansas, all the way down through Texas, we do have that chance of rain. And I do think that some of these storms in through Kansas could be severe with large hail and some destructive winds, but that will stay away from here again. We do actually up in the northwest have that snow up in Washington still, so they're still dealing with that up there. Now for Sunday, we're going to see much of the same, all the rain across the Midwest from Minnesota down through Texas, and we do again have that uh, chance of severe storms over down through Kansas as well. Taking a look at your five-day forecast for Denver, we're going to see a high of 70 on Monday, 78 on Tuesday. We do have a chance of rain on Wednesday with a high of 64 degrees, Thursday 57, and next Friday sunny with a high of 70 degrees. 
So guys, it's going to be really nice this weekend. Pick whichever day you want. It's going to be nice both days. Maybe do something both days, I guess. Why not? Yeah, you can't go wrong. I mean, it's, this is the best time of the year, I think, in Colorado. Oh, you definitely. can't go wrong with any of that weather. Definitely. And it stays cool enough so you can still do some of that hiking and you can still get some of that spring skiing in while the weather, while the temperatures are nice. Yeah, that's certainly good to know. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take advantage of it for sure. Yeah, definitely. Well, stick around. We'll be right back.